Young, a two-time all-conference pick, but Rutgers once again gets points in the paint. Brown sets up Cornwell. And here comes Rutgers on the move. Lafayette, extra pass for Sidibe. One more for Smichael, who drains the three. And Kayleen Smichael on the board. As Brown, one of those transfers from St. Peter's, has another offensive rebound. Smichael's already hit one three and cans another from the corner. Sidibe has been one of those players that has been able to help Rutgers offensively. Now Sidibe goes to the bench as Streeter is back in, and Hampton gets its first bucket off a field goal in five minutes as Nyla Young lays it in. They have shot the ball well from behind the three-point line. That's the reason why they have the lead. But as far as their overall percentage and how well they have performed inside the post area, that's something that they have struggled with in this first half. And a much-needed bucket there for a Hampton team that struggled from the floor. Most of their points have come from the free-throw line as Rutgers gets more in the paint. Something like two possessions a minute. They want to play offense quickly. Hill, how about another? She cans it and guard that three-point line a little closer. Well, Lafayette may have gotten away with a push-off. Smeichel, high archer, bangs another. Kayleen Smeichel. Buford. Got it! Raining threes inside Jersey Mike's arena. Like you said, royalty. Anytime he steps on <laughs> anywhere at the Rutgers grounds here. At Pride of Bayonne here at... Uh, Jersey Mike Serena to take in what has been a good first half, again, very competitive. Now it's a late shot clock, five to go here. Antonia Bates, got it! Much needed from Rutgers as Antonia Bates hits the sixth one of the half. Lafayette lost it. Carter reclaims it to the middle, gets the roll. And that's how the first half comes to a close. Kai Carter rattles in a mid-range jumper, and Rutgers takes a three-point lead to the break. Sidibe ignores the screen. Off the blow by creating for Cornwell. And she had two white jerseys on her downstairs in the post area, but able to fight through that and be able to bank it in. And now Mason read the pass, and it's a pick six for the Pirates. Sandra Brown with one of the niftiest post moves we've seen today. Off the answer, Hill, Kansas three. Tie ball game at 34 all. Now they've been indispensable today because they're the top two scorers for the Pirates. As that goes in for Cornwell, it's an and one. Now they're playing despite of all of that Buford at the horn, got it, from three. Mason around Bates and in for Young. Two more for Nyla Young. A chance to reclaim the lead. Lafayette, great look. Yes! The 7-3 today for Rutgers. So two more at the stripe for Cornwell, 16 points, 11 rebounds. Rutgers' best performer today. As Hill right back on the court, but she did not lose that heat. Hill already has 20, but gets stripped. It was Antonia Bates. And there's the freshman on the break. Shares it with Lafayette. Oh, it's perfect. And so Hampton, not only their best scorer today, best scorer this season is out as Bates capitalizes on the momentum. It's Scarlet Knights by a dozen. Now Hampton's gotten this back to a single digit game. Germany map off the pump fake, got blocked. Antonia Bates came up with it, and then a foul way away from the ball. Their offensive play and helped Rutgers be able to give them just a little bit more of a boost to pull away in the end. Map thought about it and got it anyway. It's a three. And it's a two-possession game. Streaking ahead, feeding Lafayette. Layup won't go. Cornwell on the putback, though, makes good. Big bucket for Rutgers in front by eight. But most importantly, the Pirates have it. And there's Reeves attacking immediately, missed it. Young puts it in somehow through the pack. But Rutgers makes its free throws, and it's three veterans, Cornwell, Lafayette, and Sidibe, all finish in double figures as the Scarlet Knights get another win at home back to their winning ways.
They defeat Hampton 76-68.